What's the issue, dear? Why are you holding back from such a man? Is it the clumpy way he walks? Or the grumpy way he talks? Or the pear-shaped, square-shaped weirdness of his feet? And though we know he washes well, he always ends up sort of smelly. But you'll never meet a fellow who's as sensitive and sweet. That's nice, but... So he's a bit of a fixer-upper. So he's got a few flaws. Like his peculiar brain, dear. This thing with the reindeer that's, that's a little outside of nature's laws. So he's a bit of a fixer-upper, but this we're certain of. You can fix this fixer-upper up with a little bit of love. Can we please just stop talking about this? We've got a real, actual problem here. I'll say. So tell me, dear, is it the way that he runs scared? Or that he's socially impaired? Ow! Why would you do that? I bet he only likes to tinkle in the woods. I did not even know that. Are you holding back your fondness due to his unmanly blondness? Or the way he covers up that he's the honest cuss? He's just a bit of a fixer-upper. He's got a couple of bugs. So she's a bit of a fixer-upper. That's a minor thing. Her quote engagement is a flex arrangement. And by the way, I don't see no ring. So she's a bit of a fixer-upper. Her brain's a bit betwixt. Get the fiance out of the way and the whole thing will be fixed. We're not saying you can change him because people don't really change. We're only saying that love's a force as powerful as strength. Fixer that can fix a fixer upper is true, 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 true.